Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video. Today I'll be sharing with you how I gave my desk a makeover with the help of my Cricut machine. Before I get started, I want to give a special thank you to Cricut for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited to show you how to create these fun projects and hopefully inspire you to give your own space a makeover for this back to school season. The first DIY project is a reverse canvas wall decor. I took a basic wrap canvas and removed the canvas from the frame. I decided to paint the frame with white acrylic paint to match the rest of the decor that I'll be creating. While the coat of paint dried, I went ahead and looked for a design to apply onto the canvas on Cricut Design Space. I searched for a world map and found this one that was exactly what I wanted. Since I'm using gold glitter vinyl to cut this out, I changed the color of the layers to match, then I adjusted the sizing of the designs by creating a template with the dimensions of the frame. Before cutting, remove the template and don't forget to mirror your image since we will be working with iron on vinyl. Today I'll be using my Cricut Explore 3 machine. This machine has the option to cut matless with the help of this Cricut roll holder and their smart vinyl. I simply inserted the gold glitter smart iron on vinyl and pressed the button to begin the cutting. After you're done weeding your design, it's time to apply it onto the frame. I used heat resistant tape to help the carrier sheet stay in place while I heat pressed it with my Cricut Easy Press. To reattach the canvas back onto the frame, I utilized my hot glue gun and fabric glue sticks. Next, I'll be showing you how I personalized a cork bulletin board. I began by designing the layout I wanted and added text that says things to do. For the square layout, I used Smart Removable Vinyl and Smart Iron-On Vinyl for the lettering. Once I was done weeding the vinyl designs, I applied them onto the frame corkboard. The removable vinyl was simple to apply with the help of transfer tape and a squeegee tool. This mini easy press was perfect to apply the iron on vinyl onto the cork board. To add a fun pop of color to my desk chair, I created a rainbow pillow with Cricut infusible ink. I changed the colors of the arches to match the material that I'll be using and made a template for the pillow cover to make sure the design fits perfectly. When working with infusible ink, make sure you mirror your images before cutting it. I utilized a regular Cricut mat to cut out the material. Infusible ink sheets come in a bunch of different colors and patterns. I went for a pink shade, a cute speckle pattern, and a teal color to create the rainbow arches. 
When they were done cutting, I used my fingers to weed the designs carefully. To layer them together, I simply took the bigger arch and added the smaller pieces onto the carrier sheet to form the rainbow. I applied it onto this infusible ink pillow cover with my Cricut Easy Press. Apply enough pressure to make sure the sheets of ink are infusing correctly onto the material. The colors turned out great, they became more vibrant with the heat. To complete the project, I added some pillow stuffing and that was it! The last DIY project I made is a banner with a quote on it. Like always, I like to create my own templates to make sure I measure the correct size for the designs. I found this super cute font and used it to type out the simple and short quote on it. I used pink and white Smart Iron on vinyl to cut out the designs. Then I weeded them out to apply them onto the fabric material banner. Once again, I used my Cricut Easy Press to complete the project by applying heat for about 30 seconds. I love how these DIYs help transform my old desk area that was very plain and boring into this adorable space where I'll be able to study this back to school season. Again, I want to give a huge thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it inspiring to give your own space a makeover. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time with a new DIY. I told you